All right, back at it again with our boy Asmongold, the one and only, the literal god. Now, I started a kind of series yesterday called Asmongold vs. Blizzard, where I'm going to go over some of his videos where he goes against Blizzard either developers or employees on Twitter, or he says something that's substantial in a video against Blizzard's practices that I think are valuable. So this is going to be part two of that series where I'm going to go into another one of his videos where he talks about some backlash or some like comments he's received on Twitter. And we'll just go into that and we'll talk about the back and forth and why it's important. The video we're going to go over today is this one is the WoW's community is trash. Blizzard dev calls Asmongold out. So there are a lot of people who are upset. There are a lot of people who are angry at me. Uh, they're pissed off because I said that the WoW community is toxic and trash. I saw a clip of was S-Fan talking about how the uh, Final Fantasy community is a better community than the WoW community in terms of like uh, being supportive, etc. Uh, let me tell you something. That is completely true. There has never been a truer truth that has ever been shrewd. Like, I I'll be honest. The WoW community is, uh, it's trash. How do I know that? Because I was in it. So there was- I Okay. I feel like that's pretty self-evident that the WoW community is pretty toxic. It has not only that kind of reputation, but like any amount of time in the game will immediately kind of clue you into how toxic the WoW community is. And I haven't spent that much time in the Final Fantasy community, but let me tell you, the limited amount of time I have spent has been incredibly welcoming and nice, and I've only gotten, you know, support from players and other streamers of the game and when you go into new content like a dungeon or whatever you're not immediately kind of met with this like need to go fast need to do this like now mentality let me let me tell you guys a story from one encounter i had in world of warcraft in shadowlands okay so now this was during 9.0 and i had been leveling an alt because i was tanking for my guild in Nathria and we and I wanted to have multiple tanks on deck in case whatever in 9.1 became the best tank So I was maining guardian druid, but I also had a max level priest. I had a max level DK I had a max level warlock. I had a I had a max level paladin. I mean whatever I, I was trying to max out a Monk, okay, I was trying to max out a monk so that I could have a brewmaster on deck and while I was leveling this monk I decided to do Threads of Fate because the idea of questing through the whole Shadowlands, again, just it just tilted me. So I didn't want to do it. So I get into a normal dungeon, okay? And it was Necrotic Wake. And if you know the normal path for Necrotic Wake in Mythic Plus, which I had run a ton of, you can run, you go like to the right and then you go all the way along the side, okay? And I was like, well, it's normal. I know this route mainly from Mythic Plus, so I don't think they're going to care that much. Who cares what I pull? And I pull that group to the right. And as soon as I pull that group, the healer and some of the DPS just start immediately going off. Like, why'd you pull that group? That was useless. You're wasting our time. And I said, like, I don't remember exactly what I said, but something like, relax. It doesn't matter. It's just a normal dungeon. And immediately they voted to kick me and kicked me from the group. And in WoW, if you get kicked from a group, they count that as essentially leaving the dungeon. So what happened is... I didn't get any experience or gold from the run because we had barely even started the dungeon. And then I was banned from joining another queue for another 30 minutes. So now my entire progression is just stunted because somebody in the game didn't like the way I pulled in a normal dungeon. And let me explain to you how easy a normal dungeon is. It's made so that anybody could do it. You could blindfold yourself, flip your monitor around, and click randomly on the screen and clear the dungeon just fine. So the fact that they got tilted about that and kicked me because I wasn't doing the most optimal normal route of the dungeon, just I, I can't even imagine how like up your ass you have to be to have that kind of mentality and that to me is permeated throughout the entire wow community i haven't seen anything remotely similar to that in final fantasy at all so if you're a wow player and you're getting mad at the idea of people calling the wow community trash or the wow community toxic i made a video called the wow community's copium check that out 
the WoW community is absolutely horrendous on almost every possible level. So don't even like think that for a second the WoW community isn't just abhorrent because it is. It's it's all the way through PvP, all the way through Mythic Plus, all the way through raiding. It's just super toxic. And I, like I said, I haven't seen that in Final Fantasy, and that seems to be a shared sentiment among all content creators that the Final Fantasy community is far more welcoming and understanding than anything in the WoW community. So just to put that point to rest, Asmongold, S-Fan, any of those content creators are correct. The WoW community is toxic. Final Fantasy doesn't seem to be that way. There's, a, um, there's another WoW dev, another World of Warcraft developer. He was a systems designer who uh, liked another tweet about me being the toxic person for the game. Yes, there's another one. They hate me. Yes, they're not happy about me. They're very... And we went over this a little bit in the last video too, but Asmongold as like a toxic figure, like maybe he he's like toxic in like a normal sense where like he'll, he'll like yell at people and raid, but at least as far as I can tell, it's all very jokingly. He accepts people from his stream. So it's not like these people don't really know what they're getting into. It's not like he'll do that to like random people. Uh, so when people say that Asmongold is toxic or like an asshole, like sure, maybe he gives that air about him, but I don't think he actually is. I think it's all kind of like how he plays into his character. I mean, it's kind of like when, with you with your friends, right? Like I, I feel like he's treating the chat and the people that play with him like his friends where like you might say something that's like, toxic to your friend even though you're just joking and they know you're joking because they're your friend i feel like it has the same air about it it's not like asmongold is being generally toxic to everyone in the game just the people who know what like he's about and how he kind of handles those situations from his chat and then if you think he's toxic from the way that he talks about the game and the game developers then just think about this from like a consumer perspective. You have this game or this product that you've loved for years and that you've played for years and you've used for years. And now all of a sudden the quality of that product is being completely tanked by some people that are clearly not either equipped or have the skills to actually produce what they're supposed to produce. Like... That is the level of World of Warcraft we're at, okay? Where you have swaths of people leaving the game. If you saw their earnings call, Bellular's talked about this. They're now at monthly uh, recurring users that they had in Warlords of Draenor. That was before Overwatch. So think about that. They're now, with more games out, they're at a user base d that they were at during WAD. That was like five years ago. Five, six years ago, okay? So... Keep that in mind. They are clearly losing players because they can't produce the product that they used to produce. And whether or not that's because they're underpaid, underemployed, doesn't matter. The people on the team are making bad decisions. The community knows that. Asmongold can see it. He's played the game forever. He lives, breathes, and eats the game. And so he calls that out on social media, on Twitch, on Twitter, whatever, and then and then the people who make the game get mad because they don't agree, which has been a you know it's been a fundamental thing with the WoW development team forever is the community doesn't like something and they just don't agree. You know, like the community wants classic servers, they say no, you don't. But really, how do they know? Like if they just listen to the community more often, I feel like it would be less toxic. People like Asmongold wouldn't be like as vocal about it because if if like just a little bit of pushback got some sort of concession from the developers and creators of the game, then you wouldn't have to worry so much about like, oh, well, I, I don't want to run Torghast 50 million fucking times this expansion just to get my legendaries for all my alts or my off spec. It's ridiculous. And then like Blizzard will put things into the game that force you to get a new legendary like they did in 9.1. And then they don't have any way for you to like trade your other legendary in for the one you actually need. So now you just have to run Torghast again to replace all five legendaries you have on your character because you do multiple types of content. And the WoW community saw that. They pushed back on it. And the WoW developer said, can't figure it out. Don't know. Like, come on. What is that? Figure it out. Like, that's what we want you to do. As, like, customers, that's what we expect from you. You don't deliver, we leave the game. We com Or, first we complain about it, and then we leave the game if it's not fixed. That's what's happening here. So, if you're a WoW developer or in the WoW community and you think Asmongold is toxic because he talks negatively about the game, just think about if what he's saying is pertinent to the game being better, and if it is, then maybe you should agree with him. And maybe you should push for a better game as well. Very upset about me. So, these people are calling me out. 
and these people are saying negative stuff about me and talking shit about me. And I want to let you guys know that I think it's a very simple question. Who do you think contributes more to the toxicity in the game? Do you think it is the person who streams the game? Or the person who literally makes the systems in the game. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, so that point might not resonate as well with a lot of people because it's kind of vague. But essentially what he's saying is, do you think that somebody who streams the game with its community and all is has more of an effect on the culture in the game? I don't think he's saying that he has no effect on the culture. Clearly he does. But do you think him as a person, as a streamer in that community has more of an effect more of an effect on the culture of the game than the people creating the systems. And a major point that Asmongold brings up a lot is that it's the systems in the game that create the toxicity. Because when you have things on kind of like a time crunch or you have things where you have to grind X amount of hours per day to keep up, people want to get that over with as fast as possible, which creates people getting tilted when things aren't going as quickly as they know they could because of past experiences. So instead of being nice and welcoming to people who don't necessarily know what's going on, they just get angry because they feel like you're wasting their time that they need to be using to grind the game. And so that's where Asmongold believes that the toxicity comes from in the game. I tend to agree with him. I think that that is essentially where most of the toxicity comes from. If you've ran high keys, you know how tilted people can get when it kind of goes to the wayside or, or if you fail pretty quickly, people get tilted. They'll flame you. They'll leave. They'll like, you know, they'll do a lot of things in those keys. And it's the same in raid. If you're taking too long to pull, people will start complaining and then they'll leave too. Even if you're just trying to explain it to someone new, they'll still get tilted and leave. And so the way that the game and the systems are set up has promoted this kind of like belief that the game has to be done in a very efficient way. There's no room for explanations. There's no room for teaching new people because that wastes time. And that's what creates the toxicity, in my opinion, and in Asmongold's opinion. That is something that he hammers home a lot is that belief. We go. Who's going to tell him? Senior system designer in Warcraft, depending on Asmongold calling the WoW community trash. This is very funny to me. You'd also think that these people would have learned from the last time. Like, the backlash that was received from the last person to, like, at Asmongold on Twitter. Or I guess this person didn't add him, but, you know, he's clearly talking about him. You think Asmongold's not going to hear about this? You're actually a person that works directly on the game. His community has, like, no life to this entire, like, game themselves. They know everything that happens about this game. You think he's not going to see this and then respond in the same way that he responded to the other person like the the amount of backlash you receive from doing this is not worth the small amount of like joy you'd get from just like owning Asmongold on Twitter and this isn't even really an own it's like it's like dude you you literally are so disconnected from the community it's like do you even do you even put yourself in the game do you know what people want do you know what people want do you even care how this game works like it seems like like everything you do is is against the player base it's like you don't even know what the player base wants or you just don't believe in the player base this is extremely funny to me that they would do this have i been toxic in the past absolutely have i done some things that are toxic absolutely i take no uh i don't hide from that in fact i talk about it regularly it's who i was and in a way it's still who i am I don't pretend. However, do you want to know what real pretending seems like? It seems like taking slash spit out of the game while you let people say the N word. You know, uh, yeah, this is, this is, he made a video about this too. I feel like I should probably do a video about that on like what he said about it. But basically in classic, wow, they took slash spit emo out of the game because like a lot of people were doing that to the people who bought the store mounts, right? Because it's like, Wow, you're you're ruining the game by including store mounts and then by you buying it, you're you're perpetuating the lack of care that the developers have for the game because they see that like, oh, you are willing to spend this money? Okay, we'll just keep doing it. So they remove spit because that's what people would do to people who bought the store mount in classic TBC. But they because they were like originally the idea was to keep it as like true to the original as itself, is they would keep the inward in the game. So apparently they're willing to go back and remove things that their paying customers will do like i guess everyone's secondly paying customer but the people who pay more so like this the whales kind of 
the whales will do this and then it affects the whales who spend a lot of money on their game so they'll remove that but the things that are actually toxic like the inward they won't just permanently remove that from the classic servers because originally they wanted it to be as if as like the whole game was when it originally released and of course you can like filter the word yourself but I mean, if they're willing to take out an emote, they should be willing to take out words like that. It's so, it's such a hollow gesture. It, it honestly, it's like embarrassing. Like the fact that you even think as a developer or a designer or any person on the team that that is the correct move to take. It's so embarrassing. Like, you, like if I was on that team, I would, I would not even show my face on like social media. I'd be like, this is disgusting the way that you people treat this game. It's overly monetized and you don't really give a fuck about anything in the game but monetizing. It's just so, it just makes me upset that they do this kind of shit. You don't care about harassment. You don't care about toxicity. You care about protecting the feelings of your whales. It's pathetic. Exactly. Absolutely fucking pathetic. Like, I, I have to read this bullshit, right? Yeah, see, I have he's, to read he's this getting bullshit tilted too because it's, gets the seal of it's fucking ridiculous. From the people that work at the game, who make the game this way. I'll tell you something. If somebody was a senior system designer in another company, and they actually had, you know, besides just fucking a tenure of job security, they'd be out on their fucking ass. If they spent two expansions making the dog shit trash garbage that they've been doing with BFA and Shadowlands. Okay, think think about, like, go back to BFA, okay? Now, I personally, I fucking hated BFA. I quit BFA within a month of the release because I just couldn't fucking do it. Like, the amount of grinding in that and, like, just the, the fucking pure bullshit. It was literally designed in a way to keep you engaged in the most menial, monotonous way possible. And, like, so coming into Shadowlands, they were like, well, we don't want to do that anymore because a lot of people left and hated it because it's fucking boring. No one likes that. And so what they did is they tried to pull away from that. And then they create chore gas, right? It's like, come on, dude. And then they create the conduit energy. It's like, come on, dude. And then they create the shards of domination and like the amount of luck you need to get those in the first week. And then the, how much that affected the world first, first race and how much that affected the perception. And the fact that now you have to rebuild all of your legendaries because you're fucked otherwise. And like, it's like, come on, like this level of like non-attention to the details of this game either shows that you just don't give a fuck or that you don't play the game at all. So like literally what he's saying is that these people would be fired. And I mean, I kind of tend to agree. If you had created something that made more people leave the game than join the game, now you're back to 2016 numbers. How have you not been fired? It's kind of surprising, honestly. You'd be out on your fucking ass. Before you call me toxic, deal with your own fucking game. Should be lucky you even have a job. It's a joke. An absolute fucking joke. Like, I, I, I really, I hate to say this, right? I hate to be an asshole, but if somebody wants to come at me and talk shit to me, I, I will talk shit right back. I have, I have no problem taking the low road. If you want to- Yeah, it's, it's kind of like, it's like, initially, like, you're not going to say anything to, like, an individual person. You, I mean, sure, you'll talk about something as a whole. You'll say, like, wow, the development team for this game seems to not really understand what's happening. Or maybe you'll talk about, like, the main lead person, like, Ian, but- you won't like go after like individual people until they respond to you because it's like, oh, you're going to attack me for this? Do you really think I'm the one? Like, let's look at your like contributions here and see if it really measures up. Can you really attack me for this after everything you've done for the game or in this case haven't done? And I think that's how Asmongold feels. I would feel the same way if someone attacked me on Twitter publicly. It's like, okay, well, I guess we're going to have to go at this then because you want to... You want to talk shit, then I guess I'll talk shit too. Come at me with that shit. There, it, the systems in WoW are the worst thing about the game. They are the absolute worst thing about the game. They could Agreed. fire every single person in the systems design team and go through the phone book and hire the first five names and the game would be better. After I mean, this is obviously hyperbole, but I mean, there's kind of a tinge of like truth. Like if you had, like if you pulled in like five random high level players from any of the previous expansions, like they'd probably know generally what systems worked and what systems didn't work. And so that would definitely provide a better situation than we have now because at, at this case, it feels like we're just like, like, this is, like, such a dead meme at this point, but we're beta testing the game for the developers, like, sometimes for entire expansions. So, 
yeah, I kind of agree with this. If you pulled anybody who had like a deep understanding of the game, like any high level player from any expansion, they would probably be able to do a better job. Absolute fucking garbage. And then for the fact for them to hide behind the idea that I'm the one that's toxic. Like, I'm the one that does this stuff while they're molesting people. They have people getting molested at their company. But I'm the bad one for saying to spit on somebody with a storm mount. It's a joke. Systems designer, I have all people calling you toxic. You cannot make that shit up. You want to see what's toxic is having massive punishment systems for failing systems. These systems in the game create more toxicity than I ever could. This is the game being programmed to be toxic. I, I know, obviously, I probably shouldn't say things like this. But I'm not a pussy bitch. I'm not going to let people sit True. around and, real. and talk shit to me. That's not what's going to happen. Right. Especially. Why would you? Especially somebody who's a systems designer. <laughs> Should spend more time doing his job. Or just, how about spend any time doing your job? So are developers responsible for systems or that make players toxic or calling someone toxic, which in itself is toxic? Yeah, exactly. Like it's, I, it's, Okay, I don't know. If you're like, he's saying like, you're calling someone toxic, which in itself is toxic. I don't know if that's true. I mean, you might be levying some kind of harassment or judgment against that person. I don't know if it's toxic to call someone toxic. I That's kind of like a meta thing like thought like how do you even like at what point is it not toxic right because you would have to call someone out for being toxic if they were doing something truly abhorrent right like that wouldn't make you toxic it's not like oh so i called him out for being toxic that makes me toxic which means someone else has to call me out and then someone has to call them out like i don't know i, I don't know dude that's like a three-head take from from chat i guess i don't know what they're trying to say there what it's doing is it's it's rationalizing and it's giving like a stamp of approval to be toxic towards me and individual. Whenever I criticize a system, whenever I criticize something in the game, I never attach a name to it. I never. Yeah, this is what I was kind of talking about earlier. It's like it, when, whenever you attack something in the game, you don't like normally, especially Asmund Gold wouldn't go after a single person unless they're doing like an interview, like Ian has done interviews or like the lead system designer has done interviews and then he's talked about what they've said about it and like why they're wrong. But you wouldn't go after like individual people usually. You would just go after the system and the team. You would just say like, oh, this team fucked up because of this reason. But once someone goes after you individually, it's not like this person said like, well, it's not like the person on Twitter said, well, it's the community that's toxic. You know, they said it's Asmongold specifically that perpetuates the toxicity. And that's the problem that Asmongold feels. And I kind of agree. It's like, why would you attack, like, as a person at the company with, a like, an official account on Twitter, go after an individual streamer in your community? It's so weird and random. Like, what the fuck? And just be completely wrong about the problems here. Never say this person is bad. But then whenever you take something and you make it personal towards one person, and if you read these comments of a lot of these different uh, tweets and shit like this, these are not, th this is not constructive criticism. These are people that are insulting my appearance. They're insulting my lifestyle, which is degenerate, right? But this is just not grounds to criticize a person on in this way. It, it's just. Yeah, I mean, well. Maybe, I guess it depends on how you're trying to criticize them. But essentially, if you're trying to say that Asmongold is the reason that the community is toxic, you wouldn't say that he's toxic because of how he lives. Just because he lives like a degenerate doesn't automatically make him toxic. You would have to point to specific instances where he condoned, created an instance of, or like like did something that created more toxicity within the game. And I don't think anybody's really able to point to that. So then they try to like assassinate his character by saying, Oh, he's a degenerate. Like he, he, he lives like a sloth or he'd like whatever, like, you know, they'll like attack him that way instead of actually bringing up something substantial because they don't have anything and they're just mad and they're venting on Twitter. It's not. So these are the kinds of people, uh, and they don't talk about the ideas that I have. They don't even talk about the things that I do. They talk about me as a person. This is low-level thinking for yep. low-level, pe low-level-minded people. And, and and whenever a Blizzard developer, somebody who actually works at the company, gives that a stamp of approval, 
That offends me. Yeah. It does. You attack their company every day, though. You barely play the game. I'm not. Yeah, I am attacking. Uh, like, their listen, dude. Like, Twitch chat. Like, think about the words you use. You're, you're like, it's amazing how, like, Asmongold, I believe Asmongold to be a very intelligent person. How he has, like, some of the dumbest people in his chat, dude. Yet you attack the company. The company is an entity, is an idea. And, like, like you can attack a company and say like this system is bad this practice is bad sexual harassment is bad and not be like personal to the people at the bottom or like working on the game itself like like the only people who would be offended by that is if you came up with the fucking horrible ass design of the game which you should feel bad about you should want criticism about you want the game to be good i hope if you don't want the game to be good then maybe that's why you're getting mad you just don't care you just care about your paycheck maybe and then two, if you're one of the people being like, that's actually doing the sexual harassment, then maybe you'll get offended because you're like, oh, I don't want to be seen as a sexual harasser, I guess. But then like, think about this, the people who, who are on like the game development team that actually want the game to be good, of course they appreciate the like critiques. Like anybody who wants to better themselves knows that like critiques from other people and like from a broad group of people is the best way to improve something. It's the best way to improve something. And then the people who are being harassed on the teams, obviously they want the stuff to come to light so that they can get some kind of, you know, reparations for what's happened. Maybe they don't want to be personally exposed as somebody who's been harassed because that can be embarrassing and like reliving trauma like that is not good for most people. But overall, they would hopefully be glad that this kind of conduct is being discovered throughout the gaming industry and is helping to make this the system better for themselves and people in the future so unless you're somebody who either doesn't care that the game is bad doesn't care about your job or is doing the harassment then i feel like you should care about these criticisms that are very recent of the game and the company as a whole like i feel like these these fucking people in twitch chat just they can't even think past their fucking forehead and it's just embarrassing their company so is the state of california everybody is it's because they're doing it wrong i probably played wow more than him i probably know more about the game than he does oh yeah to be fair <laughs> there's not very many people who have played the game more than you asmund gold but that is a point i think he's just kind of pointing out that this people these people these developers probably don't even play the game it says they can't even point out the issues with the game or they can't even resonate with the problems that most people have with the game it's like how if you if you played the game fucking at all you would know what these problems were and you would want them fixed yourself i can almost guarantee you i do she's the fast leveling with time walking and the nerfs uh, i actually was i was lying in bed today and i read about that so i want to go ahead and tell you guys about a little story here so basically this is what happened and this is a little bit of a little bit of drama here what happened with blizzard basically there was a large nerf there was a, a bug i guess or some sort of like a, a a different scaling in terms of time walking experience and what ended up happening is that that scaling bug allowed people to level up really 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 fast in time walking like i'm talking about they were getting up to level 60 from 50 in like five or seven runs and obviously blizzard within like a few hours of finding out about this found the 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 time of the day found the the place in their heart then they were able to nerf this to the ground because that okay it's amazing to me that they can find this bug fix it and resolve this whole thing because some people were leveling up too fast but when people have a fundamental issue with the game such as having to run to orgast they can't just put soul ash and soul cinders in like the things people do like raid mythic plus and pvp like that change would be so simple like you just have to you just have to put it on the drop table for those fucking things and like yet they can't fucking do it they're like nah we're too stingy with this we don't think it's good for the game when in reality everybody wants that it, like if you don't think it's good for the game is everybody leaving the game because they don't want to do with these fucking systems is that good for the game i don't fucking think so you should have just made the game more fun instead of like putting all these bullshit systems in that no one cares about and then this is something that's like sure it is like exploitable but it doesn't really matter that much 50 to 60 who cares if the level of the 50 to 60 is like really short like that it's such a it's such a small issue in the grand scheme of things this doesn't give people like a major competitive advantage on anything like who cares what the fuck is this who cares about this that's really what matters that's really what makes a difference. No fun allowed. Yeah, I mean, not talking about, you know, all the different bugs in the game. Not talking about banning the boosters that are just plaguing LFG. Yeah, ex exactly, dude. 
Blizzard, spend the time that you spent on this fucking banning people instead. What the fuck, man? Like, ban the, ban the people selling boosts. Like, ban the people, like, botting. Like, ban those people. Why the fuck would you spend time on this shit? What the fuck, man? Now, how can you tell me that this is something that you can't deal with? Uh, the priorities of this company are just so backwards and stupid that why would anybody want to play a game that they make? That's really the True. truth. Like, whenever you know that these people are scrambling and fucking having emergency meetings and fire drills the moment that they realize that you can skip one of their arbitrary <laughs> grinds that you don't want to do for the seventh True. time. True. But meanwhile, the things that actually diminish the quality of the game, they let those languish and fucking fester and infect everything else and True. make the game worse. So, yeah, I'm so fucking true. annoyed, man. No, I'm, I'm really true ever. fucking annoyed by this. I didn't even do this and I'm fucking annoyed because, again... Uh, it just goes to show the priority of the company, right? Yeah. Uh, this is the same company that, you know, aside from all of the other obvious botting and boosting and cheating and bullshit that's happening in, uh, in Burning Crusade, the one thing that they managed to get re rid of in the PTR was the slash spit emote. Uh, these yeah, are the things that. that they consider important because they are incompetent and they shouldn't be working there. That's really the truth. Okay, I don't know if it's because they're incompetent. I feel like a lot of people there are incompetent, like looking at you, lore team, looking at you, system team. But I also think a lot of it comes down to, like, how, how I think a lot of it comes down to how they make their money, right? You make, like, people are going to spend less time sub to the game if they don't have to do that 50 to 60 grind, if they can just skip that part. I'm already, like, the, if you haven't created, a, like, like a fucking boost to that like you can boost to level 50 so you can't like pay them to boost to level 60 so they're like ah oh, fuck that i think it comes down to how it's monetized also not just that people are incompetent is if anybody else did that level of a job they would be out on their ass in a fucking second so whenever i hear about new people coming into blizzard that hadn't worked there for 10 years you're goddamn right i'm excited because the people that have worked there for 10 years have made straight dog shit for nine times out of ten Am I wrong? It, it's just fucking sad, man. Uh, it, it's just fucking sad. And I don't think anybody should support this. This is just pathetic. It, it, it's I a agree. pathetic waste of your time, and they know it, and that's why they're doing it. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and move on. Some stuff was good. Come on. Yeah, that was the one out of ten. You're right. Uh, there was some stuff that was good. Some of the content in Legion was good, but Legion also had artifact weapons that you had to farm mauve souls for for eight hours a day in order to meet arbitrary DPS checks on bosses in Trial of Valor. And well, it, not only that, like it feels like Legion was really the beginning of this like borrowed power system, where at the end of Legion, you had to give up your artifact weapons like you didn't get them anymore like so all that time you spent grinding them fuck that doesn't matter anymore they're gone and then we saw that in bfa with the azurite uh bullshit you know like the heart of azeroth and like you had to grind all that shit and then like at the end of the expansion ah, fuck it it's gone and now we are on to covenants and i'm i could promise you because i know how blizzard works but also because if you look at like the previous patches like 9.0 to 9.1 of course like your your gear doesn't matter and that's been a thing in the game forever but if you go back to like like classic where going from vanilla to the burning crusade you could still run with nax ramus gear all the way probably until like probably until black temple sometimes maybe not if you're like getting every single bis but if you if you weren't like at every raid you could still probably get to black temple with like nax ramus gear so i mean and then like think about this too after 9.1 what do you think is going to happen to the shards of domination do you think they're still going to be valuable or are they going to be replaced with something else of course they're going to be replaced with something else the only thing permanent through Shadowlands is going to be the Covenants and then it's going to be the Legendaries and then both of those things are going to be gone with the new expansion So borrowed power sucks. It feels bad when it gets stripped from you and like what how bad does it feel as a player when you know that all the time you spend grinding this thing isn't gonna matter in like Six months or I guess I don't know how long it's gonna be for 9.3 to come out or 9.2 to come out Or I don't know how long it's gonna be for 9.2 to come out But you know like a year whatever the fuck like it feels bad, you know and then Legion also had a literal fucking cap. Basically, the way that this used to work, a lot of people don't remember this, is that you would get your first and your second legendary very quickly whenever you got your, uh, whenever you leveled your first character up in Legion. So your first legendary would happen, like, let's say it's like 30 days, right? Your first legendary would happen on day three. Your second legendary would happen on, like, day 10. 
and then I, I don't know like day 20 and day 30 would be like your your third and your fourth well guess what happened after you got your fourth legendary at the beginning of legion they literally turned off the stacking multiplier for you to get more legendaries so the yeah it was like there was like a bad luck like anti bad luck kind of thing where like every time you didn't get the legendary it would increase your chance to get the legendary the next time and like that got turned off after the fourth like legendary you got and so if you didn't get the one that was best for your class or best for your spec uh, it's gonna be a grind you're you're like Ugh. i mean i don't think it was the worst system like i would rather like go try to get the legendaries again than have to run torgast every fucking week but it still doesn't feel great when you're like fuck i really needed i really needed that legendary but it gave me these four that are fucking useless philosophy with the company was that they didn't want you to get too many legendaries even though there was a differential between the legendary's power by like twice as much. And yeah, I think yeah. that, listen, I think that Legion was good in a lot of ways. I miss Legion, yeah. but I don't want to have anybody sit here and tell me that that expansion was completely good because it fucking wasn't. It had a bunch of problems. Well, I mean, of course, if like part of the expansion isn't good, like a lot of people will forgive those parts of the expansion that aren't good if the entire experience feels like generally good, right? Like, and overall, I feel like Legion felt pretty good until you had to give up all your borrowed power and then it felt really bad. And then that was the problem is like there was grinds, but it was nothing like the Heart of Azeroth grind. It was nothing like the Torghast grinds or like the Corthia grinds that we have now. It was like lot simpler i'd say you could you could it felt like you could raid log a lot easier than you can in like the most recent expansions and had a bunch of bullshit in it so keep that in mind man uh please don't keep ranting about old expansion and need something new well the reason why i'm talking about the old expansion here's why is because the people that worked on that expansion are making this change well i like dude twitch chat just stop talking dude of course he's talking about the old expansion because what you just brought up was that the game hasn't been good for a while and then he's bringing up examples of how the game hasn't been good for a while like like it's like twitch chat they're like either attention span or their intelligence is so small that they can't even keep up with the conversation they like forget the past 10 seconds there's like there's like a window where that there's like a window where they can like remember like the the last like five and a half seconds and that's all you get for twitch chat today now uh, those are the people that shouldn't be working on the game at all these people are incompetent morons that probably don't even play it yeah. uh, they're fucking stupid true and i'm sick of having my time wasted by incompetent people who shouldn't even be working there to begin with it's pathetic uh, that, that's the truth they're fucking garbage and I i'm sick of pretending like it's anything else other than that they're, they're incompetent and in any other job that has had the levels of failure that WoW has, they'd be out on their ass because they have no fucking idea what they're doing. Yeah. They, they can't program any of the fucking mechanics. Like, there's shit wrong all the time in Corthia. They, they put it on the players to beta test the game, and then they don't sure. listen to the feedback from the players. Yeah, exactly, dude. And that's the biggest problem. It's not even like it's not even that they might have a bad system every once in a while. It's the fact that they have just consistently bad, uh, arbitrary systems that are just fighting against the player, and then they're like they're like all up on their high horse against like the player base. They're like, "Oh, trust us. You don't want that. <laughs> we know what's best for you. You don't know anything. Please trust us." And it's like, shut the fuck up, dude. It's so fucking annoying. Until two two expansions later, or two patches later, uh, I'm pissed, man. The, the yeah. people are just fucking incompetent, and and it, it's it's only gotten worse. Somebody says they're too busy sexually abusing people. Nah, man, it's got nothing to do with that. The thing is, like, yeah, that's happening for sure. But like, there is just there is the incompetence in the game that just simply exists. It doesn't, it's not, uh... Yeah, well, so, part of the problem is that a lot of the people working on the game feel very uncomfortable in the workspace they're in, so they can't produce a lot of the good work, which is essentially what the, the Twitch chatter is talking about here. But what Asmongold is, is saying is that it goes beyond that. It's not even that the amount of harassment in the company has produced, like, a very toxic work workplace that's hard for people to really, like, approach and do their work well. It's, like, 
beyond that like even when people are doing the work at their best like the people who are doing it like these people that like talk about him on twitter and the system designers they can't even do it well even at their best because they're so incompetent that's essentially what he's saying i don't know how much of it is like the harassment that goes on and how much of it is incompetence but i would i would wager that it's probably it's probably a lot of incompetence along with the harassment like the game like you can't just build a game a, like a good game and good systems when like not only do the people working on it not know what they're doing but then like the people who do know what they're doing are being harassed and it's making their work harder uh it's not predicated on sexual harassment it's not because of something else it's just because they don't know what they're doing it's literally that simple that th that's it it, it, it is nothing else more to it than that Okay, well, that was the video for today, guys. Uh, that was a way more ranty than the other one. Uh, the other one, like, I, f I just, it's very annoying to me when we have these kind of, like, systems in the game. And then, like, people on Twitter are always, like, bashing the wrong people. Or, like, the, the developers and the game designers on Twitter are, like, they just seem to not understand, like, what the community actually wants in their game. And, like, I know I've said this a lot, but it's it's like they don't even play the game. Like, how the fuck is it possible that you could have these views about the game if you actually played it? It doesn't make sense. And, honestly, I hope that with all these changes that are happening within the company, the game gets better and the workplace harassment ceases. Like, obviously, that's the that's the first priority is the, is the harassment. But then, secondarily, for me, I think that I hope that the game's from blizzard can become as good as they used to be like if you remember as your childhood like blizzard made the best games in the market like you had starcraft 2 you had world of warcraft you know like these were the games that really set an entire genre of like or like they they set an entire lifestyle like like look at how much starcraft 2 or even StarCraft 1 and Brood War really gave birth to esports. And then StarCraft 2 kind of perpetuated that until League of Legends took over the esports market. But then World of Warcraft like had such a stranglehold on like culture that not even a game objectively better than it would ever be able to overtake it until the developers and the company themselves killed their game and that's what we're seeing now is where world of warcraft despite how bad it's been in the past like two to three expansions it had such a strong hold on the player base and the culture in general that people wouldn't even leave it for better games until until like the company just came in and destroyed all that work they had done on their own. And I think that's what we're seeing now. So uh, that's all I have to say about this. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you did. Leave a comment about your thoughts about this video or if any of my takes you thought were horrible. Put that in the comment section. But yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next time.